happy day. Oh my goodness. Okay, so coming from a place of a couple hours worth of prayer and worship. Um, it just keeps repeating over and over and over again. Not from a song, not from a scripture or anything like that. It just keeps repeating over and over again. I hear the Lord saying to tell somebody, um, it's not irredeemable. Hallelujah. Ooh, this is so good. It's not irredeemable. It's not irredeemable. It's not irredeemable. This isn't for everyone. This is for, you know, the select ones. And you'll know it's for you. You'll know it's for you, of course, when um, when Holy Spirit's just knocking on your heart. And, and it won't, and, and you just get activated, you know? You just get activated. We are triune beings. We are spirit first, then soul, then body. And they're all interconnected. And the Lord speaks to us and confirms things in our heart in all of those ways. And so... Um, it's not irredeemable. Okay, but you might be thinking, yeah, you know what? I've been wrestling with something for a long time. I feel like I've really messed it up. I don't know how to redeem myself. I don't know if I could ever get back what I lost. I don't know if I could ever get back that relationship that um, has been destroyed. Okay? Um, and I'm talking to the people who have had a part in the destruction of their own life. You know, there's consequences for our own decisions and our own mistakes sometimes. That's just, that's life. You know, that is, that is a result of uh, the beauty of being given the gift of free will is that we get to choose. And sometimes we don't always choose well. And sometimes there's consequences for that. But the Lord is telling you today that it's not irredeemable. It's not irredeemable. But you might be thinking, yeah, but you know what? So much time has gone by. I don't even know how to confront this anymore. I don't even know how to approach this situation and make right what I made wrong. The Lord's just telling you today, it's not irredeemable. It is not irredeemable. He can meet you in that, even through time, okay? He's outside of time and space, guys. He's outside of time and space, hallelujah. It's not irredeemable. You might be thinking that relationship is so done, so destroyed. I messed up beyond repair. She said this and, and he said that. And, and it's just, they said it's over and their heart has been cold for me. The divorce papers are already long done and signed. The ink is more than dry. You know, this is going to be for somebody. I've seen it happen. I'm speaking from authority and experience as a witness because I have seen it happen. God does a work in our hearts. God takes us through a journey. He brings us through repentance. He gives us wisdom revelation. He shows us the deep-rooted issues of our heart that led us to make these certain decisions that informed our life. Some trauma or drama usually resulting from undealt with stuff from our childhood. It's normal. It's part of the human experience, okay? But we're not supposed to only just live based on our human experience and our flesh, right? When the Lord grabs a hold of us, and Holy Spirit comes and resides in us. And we answer that proposal, that call to be in complete relationship with him, right? Where, where he knocks on our heart and we answer the door. This is in scripture. And we say, yes, come in, dwell within me. And we're born again, made new. We are given a new heart new heart. That doesn't mean our old experiences are just washed away. That doesn't mean, oh wow. That doesn't mean our old, um, you know, uh, experiences and what happened and, and it doesn't just go away. But with the Holy Spirit residing in us, he brings a healing, a redemption. Unlike that, which any counselor, any therapist, any, um, hallucinogenic. I've been hearing of, of uh, microdosing of hallucinogenics and people using this in different types of therapies to um, go back and heal. Okay. Holy Spirit is stronger than that. This is the Spirit of God. We're talking about this, the same power that raised Jesus Christ from the dead who wants to live and dwell within you. Yeah much more powerful than a created thing like a hallucinogenic or whatever else. I'm, I'm just talking real here because this is the world that we're living in. He is better. He is the counselor. And when he counsels us and he tends our heart and he rips, you know, those roots of that stuff out, then he, he often just knocks on us and, and, and gives us the courage to confront the situation. He gives us the words to say to the people that we have hurt and destroyed. He gives us a grace. Okay, he gives us an anointing to go fix what we may have messed up. God is good like that. He's telling you today, it is not irredeemable. Nothing is irredeemable. 
Jesus Christ conquered sin and death. He rose up from the dead, from the grave. Come on now. And he said that that miracles, signs, and wonders, he told us while he was walking on this earth that you will do even greater things than these. He says, touch not God's anointed. He says, I'll make a way where there doesn't seem to be a way. I am a miracle working God if you trust him. If you trust him, it is an exercise of your trust. Are you going to make the phone call, send the email, ask for the meeting? I know you might encounter some resistance. You have the fear of rejection. You have the fear of being told some really nasty, ugly, horrible things. And, and your heart is, is, is um, hesitant to do that because it's already gone through so much, okay? But I'm talking to the people who have made some decisions, have done some things, and it's not been good, and it's been eating you alive on side, and God's been doing a work in you. So again, this is a specific word for the, those who are like, check, 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 yes, yes, okay, Lord, I hear you through this girl. Like, I hear you. She's talking about my experience. I just want to encourage you. This is your time to step out in faith. This is your time to be willing to look foolish. This is your time to uh, take courage, take heart, to trust in the Lord, to ask for his guidance, to ask for his help. He'll be there. With, he's, he's promised to be there with you, for you, never, ever against you. It's not irredeemable. Now, I'm not, gonna, I'm not sitting here prophesying saying everything's going to go your way. I'm not God. I, I don't know what he's doing, but I do know this. I do know this, and you need to know this, that he promises to use all things to work together for his good, for his good, for those who love him, for your good, for the, because we love him. And because we love him, and he's doing a work in us, and he's giving us courage, that even if it doesn't go how we think it ought to go, we could still place our trust in God, knowing that we did the right thing, we said the right thing, we made an attempt, we made the phone call. And you know what? It might take a couple of attempts. It's true. It might take a couple of attempts because you know what? Just like God has been working on your heart, you don't know what he's doing in their heart either. And you gotta, you gotta be patient. Patience is a fruit of the spirit. You gotta be patient and allow the Lord to do a work in, in the hearts of the other people, okay? You might think it, it, there's 10,000 excuses that you have right now. You need to submit them to Jesus, okay? I love you so much, friend. I'm here to tell you, you need to submit them to Jesus. You need to say, Lord, I know you know what happened. I know you saw what happened. I know you know what I did. I know you you know better even what the 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 consequences of my mistakes and how it affected other people. But Lord, I want to make it right. I, I feel you telling me to make it right, and I'm trusting that you're going to redeem it. God's a miracle working God, man. And if we walk in alignment with him and we trust in him and we live a faith, a life of faith in operation with him, abide with him, and we stay close to him, he's not going to lead us into temptation. He's not going to lead us into destruction. He's going to be with us, for us, and not against us. And even when we go through storms and even when it feels rocky and even when we're hearing things or we're getting responses that uh, we wish we wouldn't, or, you know, we don't get to control how other people respond to our actions we don't have we don't we're not god we don't have a way to get inside their their mind and to change their mind about things we have to be patient when it comes to their process but we do have to be obedient and we do have to take responsibility for our own actions and so i just feel the invitation of the lord today to say um to respond to this word if it speaks to you to do what you need to do to make the phone call to to set the meeting to humble yourself to admit, to repent, to, you know, not to explain, not to, no, you might just need to sit and listen. You might need to, you might need to hear their heart. You might need to give them the space and the right to say everything that they have wanted to say to you that you haven't wanted to hear. And it's not going to feel good, but when you feel the grace of God on it, when you feel that the Lord is with you, he is just, he's going to nurture you through it. He's going to be your counselor. He's going to be your defender. He, you know, I mean, he, I, trust me, you can handle it. Trust me, you can handle it. This is part of the maturing process. You know, um, part of growing up from being a kid to an adult is that we have to do things that we don't always like to do sometimes. And we have to take responsibility in even greater ways, you know. And just like if this is speaking to you and you're a parent, you know as a parent what how you teach your kids, right? Your kid does something, it's not good, it affects other people. What do you coach them on? How do you coach your child to deal with that? 
You need to parent yourself and think of how God wants his parenting you with love, not condemnation, not consequence. He's not putting you in a timeout. You've been in timeout. You've been shackled with shame for too long. You've been shackled with shame for too long. You've been living in the cave of embarrassment for too long. And today's the day that you can be set free because the Lord wants you to know nothing is irredeemable. I pray blessing over you. I pray blessing, favor, increase. I pray Holy Spirit comes and shows himself as the counselor living within your heart, that he just inspires this courage for you to make the phone call and set the meeting. And he, and he just, he guards your heart in a way to where you're able to sit and listen and, and, and give other people the space and the grace to process the situation in a new way. It's not irredeemable. I just pray blessing that the Lord's going to redeem time that has been lost. The Lord's going to redeem relationships that have been destroyed. God's are going to redeem the mistakes, the financial mistakes, the fraud, the financial mistakes, the theft, the, the stuff. And he, he's just, he's going to show himself so merciful to you. So merciful to you. First, you must embrace his love and his forgiveness and his mercy and then be activated to take action. Before I go, because this might be speaking to somebody who um, has done something, you know, there's been some sort of something and the person's no longer here on this earth. Maybe they've passed, okay? Because this is an, an objection that, that I know swirls in people's hearts sometimes is, yeah, I wish I could, but they're, they're gone or they died. Or maybe it was by your hand or by an accident or a situation or maybe had nothing to do with their death had nothing to do with you but um you are just you've been craving and holding on to this 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 thing for so long and and you really wish you could make that phone call but they're not alive anymore and i just want to tell you that deal with it in the courtroom of heaven deal with it at the feet of jesus deal with it because the lord transcends time and space right he he is all-knowing omniscient omnipotent omnipresent he's everywhere all the time so when you take it to him and you you ask for him to redeem that and and forgive that and to release you of of what you need to be released from and and that you take responsibility and you repent and and you just pray and and seek the lord and um pardoning right from that person who's no longer there, I promise you, he'll bring a peace to your heart that is, it, it is outside your human understanding. It's, it's inexplainable for me here on this screen to tell you about. But the Lord's gonna meet you in that and he's gonna bless you in that, okay? So don't let that be a barrier um, or don't let that be an excuse that the enemy continually brings up in your mind uh, where you want something to be free. You wanna be free for something. You wanna let go. You wanna redeem whatever you want to take responsibility for whatever and the person's not alive anymore deal with it with jesus okay let him do the work in you let him settle it let him settle it on earth and in heaven and all all in between and all throughout and he can do it okay he's god he can do anything he's god so i hope this word blesses you today <sighs> until next time god bless